So we're finally ready to remove the timing chains, tensioners, dampers, everything that needs to be removed regarding a stretch timing chain. If you're new here, I will have a playlist in the description box below just showing how to get to this point. And if you want to tackle this at home, you'll save at least 2000 bucks. So you can save a lot of money. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by removing the number one tensioner here. Of course, the engine is at top dead center on the number one cylinder. I just uploaded a video showing on how to do that. So there's no going back at this point. And this is the timing chain guide on the passenger side. And timing chain guide, driver side. Still look to be in pretty darn good shape. And the crankshaft sprocket comes right off. No tool is needed. I hope. Let's see here. There we go. Everything here is being replaced. And now we can remove the main timing chain. This is why we're doing all of this work. And these are the dampers. All the parts, if you're curious, if you want to go OEM, is around 900 bucks. Everything, sprockets, tensioners, dampers, everything, roughly 900 bucks. So now we need to remove both the intake and exhaust sprockets. Held on by 17 mil fasteners. And back here is a point where you just insert a 24 mil or adjustable wrench. We can try power tools. There's not, I don't have a uh, small enough tool to break this loose. So I'm going to try a breaker bar, but before I do that, I just want to cover up where the oil pan is open because the tensioners here may, pieces may fall into the oil pan and then we have to fish them out. So just place something nice here to protect everything. So let's give this a shot. I'm using an adjustable wrench because I don't have a 24 mil wrench. Nice firm grip, Mr. Breaker Bar. And here we go. Wow, it's really tight. Really, really tight. Whoa. Let me try the bottom. Let me try the exhaust here. I want to still travel this thing. Yeah, you can't do it. I got a power tool in here. All right. Hey, so I just purchased this from Amazon. Hopefully this has enough torque. It should have more than enough. I have three settings. Number one is 100 foot-pounds. Two is 300 foot-pounds. And number three is 700 foot-pounds. This is why you want to really protect everything because parts of the, there's a tensioner back here and the parts were from the vibration just flying off so certainly cover everything really important this is a huge help absolutely massive Okay, let's knock out the other side. Just have to realign this here. It does travel a little bit, but just mark everything back up. And if you're curious, I am using setting three, setting two just wasn't strong enough. And as far as I can tell, the exhaust Sprockets are a lot tighter than the intake. I see little parts are coming off. So 
cover everything. Okay. Yo. Two things left, just the tensioners on both sides of the engine. And then we're done for the disassembly at least. So it's been a lot of work, but we are halfway there. Now, because I'm waiting for parts, perfect time for me to clean up this engine, remove any old gasket material, get everything really spotless. And then once the parts arrive, we can just knock this out and get everything up and running. Also great time to update and replace parts. As you can see, my idler bearings here are completely rusted. They're not making noise, but obviously I'm going to replace them. The alternator pulley in my case is making some noise, so great time to replace it. So this is a perfect time as you rebuild your truck, or really if you're just watching this and you plan on doing work on your own vehicle, any vehicle, you, you do this kind of work, great time to replace parts because you don't want to spend money, but down the road, if you can save yourself some aggravation, now is the best time to, to, to just knock this stuff out. So. New parts, a lot of new parts, a lot of money, but nonetheless, we will get this up and running. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.